Do anybody else be in other people's business like it's down? Y'all know that filter on TikTok where it's like the nosy filter where you're like, cause the girls are fighting outside. Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Simone Nicole here. Back at it again with yet another video and today's video is going to be my workout routine. The girls have been asking, the girls have been wanting. I've been teasing it, posting shorts here on YouTube Shorts. I post on Instagram about how much I work out and I am constantly asked about what my routine is. So we're gonna get into that in this video. If you don't wanna hear me talk about fitness things and make my normal disclaimers, then just hover over the timeline here on the YouTube video and the video will be broken up into chapters. So you can skip to my first workout of the week. Now for the real, wants to stick around to hear everything I gotta say. I started this fitness journey back in October, actually when my very first TikTok went viral about me doing it poorly. And basically I had made a commitment to myself to work out every single Wednesday and every single Friday. And for the most part, I've been able to stick to that, barring the times where my mental health has been in the toilet and I physically, like it just wasn't good for me to get up and go. Besides that, I've really stuck to it and really developed a routine. You can click on this video and and think that if you do the things that I do, then you'll look like me, but I wanna make it so abundantly clear that you may or you may not. A lot of what I look like has a lot to do with genetics and a lot to do with the food that I intake on a daily basis. So I wanna make abundantly clear, I am not a professional. This is one girl's anecdotal video on what she does to keep the body looking right inside. And more than that, I just feel so much stronger than I ever have. I'm so proud of my body and I'm so proud of the consistency that I have been able to adapt from sticking to this routine. Right now, my workouts look like three days a week, two days in the gym doing upper body. Sorry, the girls are still fighting. I'm so like, I wanna know what's going on, but it's none of my business and they be fighting like off. Y'all, my neighbors, between my upstairs neighbors and like just my neighbors around me, I'm like, the girls are fighting. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I work out three days a week on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Wednesday, Friday, I'm in the gym doing literally whatever the hell I want. And Saturday is Pilates for me. I'm gonna be doing voiceovers during all three days for you guys to be able to get a sense of why I do the workouts that I do, any tips and tricks that I have learned along the way, because I really wanna get across to you guys that the reason why I've been able to sustain this is because I actually enjoy getting up and moving my body. And hopefully by the end of this video, you are inspired to get up and move your body as well. So with all that being said, let's get into my workout routine. Okay, let's get day one of the workout started with a little stretching. Today is going to be lower body. So I just did a girl, this is a little play play stretch. I don't stretch super duper well before I start working out just because like my muscles are still tight. So I actually like to warm up so that my muscles are warm and then I'm gonna stretch again, which you're gonna see in a second. Today I decided to be brave and I, I really feel like I was showing off for y'all because I did the Stairmaster and I never do the Stairmaster. This was seven seconds of hell. Like I almost didn't make it out. Like that was death, could not do it. And then I love to use the TRX bands in order to stretch because this provides a very deep stretch. If you guys haven't tried it, I highly recommend doing so. And after we get that quick little stretch in, it's time to start the lower body day. Lower body fun fact is actually a lot harder for me than upper body. I get so tired doing it. And also one of my favorite things to do and how I like to work out is to work out in supersets. So I decided to do deadlifts and then squats on this cable machine. And it was actually kind of hard to do on the cable machine just because of the way that it's built. But you know, you make do with what you have. And then I moved on to my next superset, which was with Bulgarian split squats and then leg extensions and then single leg extensions. And I hate Bulgarian split squats. My Bulgarian split squats aren't that great because <laughs> they're just so painful for me. But you know, what do they say? No pain, no effing gain. So as you can see in my face, I'm feeling a lot of feeling a lot of that gain, man. The the 
So that was over and then we moved on to abs. Um, this was something that I literally saw a girl that I love on TikTok. Her name is Mel. I saw her doing this workout and I said, uh-uh, she got me effed up. So then I stopped. And then this, I literally, I'm telling you, I was so tired that I just started doing stuff. I called this like a, a crunch into a leg extension and it burned. I didn't have actually a lot of pressure on the back of my legs. So I was holding myself up for a bunch of it. And girl, this last one, these toe touches was, ooh child, I was almost dead child. And that was the end of day one. Welcome to Pilates day two. This week's Pilates is going to be at the Daily Pilates. Um, this is their new location in Buckhead and it was so stinking cute. They don't allow you to film during class. So this was me doing a little mock class after class was over. But if you've ever been to Pilates, then you know the drill girlfriend this one wasn't as intense the most intense one in atlanta is sculpt house in atlanta because it's half cardio half pilates highly recommend but you will forewarning want to end it off by the end of the class but this was cute this was very much a pilates moment and that was the end of my little faux pilates class and then we're actually moving straight on to day three day three let's get it upper body day my favorite day i feel like my upper body defines really well except for my except for my triceps but that back is looking good i didn't realize how good my back looked period so um one of the things that i want to make sure that you guys understand is that working out is about having fun i do not stick to a routine i do not do the same things over and over again because for me that's not fun do you see me on this treadmill? Why am I dancing on this treadmill? Like I'm not about to start to run uphill literally, but you know what? I have to find fun in working out because if I don't, I'm not gonna come back. So I put on songs that I like, you know, I do things I like. I will be in the middle of a gym session and just get on TikTok and find things to do that look interesting. And I encourage you all to do the same because the workouts that I'm about to show you are literally ones that I found when I was working out on TikTok. Besides, besides this first set, this is a very traditional set. My first super set is gonna be hammer curls. Then we're gonna move into tricep extensions and then bent over rows. From overseas, I had to buy her a new visa. Met your wife in Vegas, but I hit her in a visa. She a supermodel, so she only eats Caesar. Used to date a rapper, but he acted like a diva. Niggas hustling backwards, I hear balling with the Rhea. Then after that, we're gonna move on to our next super set. This one is going to be face pulls, overhead tricep extensions, and then some like reverse lat pull downs. I loved this move when I saw a girl do it on TikTok literally 10 minutes ago, and I loved it. Loved the burn, loved the workout that it gave me. And I try to push myself in weight a lot here because I am trying to do a pull up and pull ups are all lats. So after that super set, I had to look myself in the mirror and really hype myself up. And I had to because this, <laughs> this first time around, I was trying to pull a lot more weight because I'm trying to really train my lats to be a lot stronger because that's really where your pull-ups come from. So I first did some lat pull downs and then some rows and then went into this pull down variation. And um, it was a good one, girl. I, I was I was definitely exhausted at the end of it. And that is the end of our last day at the gym. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that after watching this video through in its entirety that you feel inspired to move, to figure out what brings you joy when it comes time to go to the gym, to figure out what your motivations are for even wanting to get up and go to the gym. Because if it's about looking a certain way or having a body that you have deemed body goals, that's not the best place to start friend you should be your body goals whatever body that you're in figure out how you will be happiest living in that body and then work to 
attain that. I hope that you walk away from this video feeling good, feeling empowered, and that I was able to maybe teach you a little something now. If you end up trying any of these workouts, or if you live here in Atlanta and you also go to daily Pilates, then let me know because I actually have a bunch of different Pilates places that I would recommend. If you guys wanna know which Pilates studios I recommend, if you live here in Atlanta, let me know. And if there's enough people asking, then I'll put it down in the description box, some of my favorites. And that is gonna be all today, you guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you to the moon and back. And as always, remember to keep positivity in your life because positivity breeds positivity and we have no time for negativity in 2023. I'll see you guys super duper soon in my next video. Bye guys.